Hardly surprising that its 3,000 years of documented history has been our Bible of the story of the Nile. Yet few of us have ever heard of the other great power on the Nile and the thorn in Egypt's side, the kingdom of Cush. And perhaps now is the time to redraw the map of the ancient world. Modern-day Kerma is like any other Sudanese town along the Nile. But four and a half thousand years ago, Kerma was the birthplace of Africa's first black superpower and the capital of the kings of Kush. Kerma is the beginning of our quest across distance and time to find out where the people of Kush came from and just how far their journey took them. It was the Nile that gave life to Egypt and it was the Nile that created Kush. Its waters and fertile soil meant early farmers thrived and they delivered vast wealth into the coffers of the kings of Kush. Got to know this area really well. Back in the 90s, we did four seasons of survey over the whole of this uh, region. Derek Wellsby of the British Museum has been working in northern Sudan for two decades. It's a really interesting area. You can really see the pristine Kerma landscape in many cases with all the settlements surviving in situ and all the cemeteries associated with them. 4,000 years ago, the Nile split into three channels around Kerma. It's along the banks of the old, dried-up river channels that the early farming communities had their villages, still clearly visible as low mounds. And what might look like a jumble of stones is a vital clue for the archaeologist to the prosperity of the region. 